Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, of course, I am your favorite random man for Chicken YouTube, Tans Woods in the building. I hope you guys are having a nice day where you're at, where you're from. I hope you're eating, staying safe. So, I talked a little bit about this on my uh, live stream. I want to say, I can't remember what day it was. Uh, I want to possibly say, uh, well, I know, I can't remember the day. Well, I was streaming, I was streaming Gears of War 3. Um, with, with my buddy Matt and Janice was also a part of the GOG group, uh, Gentlemen of Games, and uh, and so so there's something personally with me uh, is pretty much dealing with self doubt, and but at the same time I do do my best to stay encouraged. So uh, the one thing about me, guys, that you know, again, I, I don't know how many times I've said this, I, I sometimes wear my emotions on my sleeves. And you know, and I, I love what I do. I do it so much, and I, some, I even, like even when things are looking down, I should say, um, I still manage to keep myself smiling. Up more. It's during these down times where it hits me and hits me good, which is self doubt. And uh, so the one of the things I, um, when self doubt hits me. I think to myself, like, am I really good enough at what I'm doing? Am, and is what I'm doing worth people's attention? Am I, um, no, is it, you know, say, am I wasting my time? Am I, like, is, is, is anybody paying attention to me? You know, and I get with YouTube's algorithm and stuff like that. Now it's not saying it's best of views and subs, and it, and it changes so much. And it's like, it's like, when I first started doing this, uh, I remember I was able to demonetize my videos before the whole Logan Paul incident happened. I love it, but like I said, that stuff that really hits me, man. And like sometimes, sometimes it hit me harder than usual. And so I always think, what am I doing? Even with the with the group channel I'm doing, even when I help people, I was like, really with YouTube, honestly, what am I doing? Is it is it is it, is it worth staying up? To four or five or even six o'clock in the morning just to get stuff done just to get stuff done for the group channel and it and not, sometimes i think yes i think what i'm doing is isn't going anywhere i think that and it's and it's hard and like I, I don't i usually don't like to think like that because check the scenario okay so one of my dearest friends uh the blue empress her name uh denise one one of my high school buddies um, I talked to her into doing a YouTube channel. I did some I did some videos with her. It was me. I think we did like a couple of wrestling stuff. We, I can't remember. I can't remember what other stuff we did together. And bam, she shot like two hundred, working hard. And then one another good buddy of mine, uh, Professor S. Charles or PCS, uh, we met at like a, I want to say Motor City. And then you know, we 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 also talked to her on YouTube. We do some collabs. We go on YouTube. <laughs> some collabs on uh, uh um, on facebook uh and stuff like that i met him at yuma Khan and uh, i think i can't remember what he said what he used to do on his youtube channel i can't remember but then i tell him i was like do it just go back to what you love just say just say what's on your mark say what's on your heart stuff like that you know and i do know because like me i always believe it's good to encourage people what they love to do you know there's also times like when you're doing something, make sure you you do your homework on it, this, that, and the other, blase, blase. And he shot, I think he's at least over 500. Now, I want to let everybody else tell them now. These, like, like I said, they are my friends. They're, they're good people. I'm not saying because I'm jealous. If y'all if y'all thinking I'm jealous, there's something wrong with y'all. Because you know the boy, I'm never jealous of anybody who's trying to shine to down. Man, like I said, I'm, I'll be, I'll always be happy for him. If I don't come, I like, I like the video. Just say, you no, know, just show my love, show my support. And then, you know, it's just like I've been doing YouTube. I want to say for at least about 12, 12 to plus thirteen years. Um, like one of my biggest videos I had done was like uh, Resident Evil uh, Seven, and like me, 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 or. Uh, I want to say one of the Dragon Ball videos I did, even you know, though they 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 got they got garner a lot of views, and I was so happy to get those views. I was so excited about that, and it made me proud. But then it was always those times where like, what am I doing? Like one of my again, 
one of two of them, two more people I want to make mention. Again, Red Raven Rising and my buddy Sicario Zuc- uh, Michael. I'm just calling Mike. Uh, like they at least like over eight thousand subs, and I'm like, bruh. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, how in the world did they get that? Like, and what am I doing that's not getting that love and stuff like that? And, and it also comes to the time, I also believe I'm one of the most patientest, patientest? I'm the most patient person in God's green, God's green, blue earth. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but, anywho, you guys get the point I'm trying to make out here. And, um, and I always believe when you work hard, pray hard, and do good unto others and encourage people, your time is going to shine. But sometimes that little break in the moment where it's like, I want it right now. Give it to me. Give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, and then like, it's like, it don't happen, you know? And it's like, those, that's all, those are really the down times that hits me and it hits me hard man it hits like a like a but i feel like what i'm doing is not enough man and it and it, and it sometimes it shakes me and it rattles me so you know one time i talked to my mom and dad and i told them how i felt and i told them about you no know, about my home about homie these my, my homie friend, princess charles and i told them what i said to encourage them and the one thing they told me but actually my dad told me he was like well what you said to them you got to do it it's like you know because when i when i told him that i wanted this like profound word something just to move me and just like shake me back in like put me back in the shape ready to work ready to do what i need to do and the funny thing is the funny thing is it's just a simple, just simple sentence like okay? so what you told them or put into them you gotta put the same thing into you and I know it's like aha elementary moment whatever but in a sense by thinking about it he's right my father's right my mom's right they just pretty much said it and agreed the same thing it's uh like I always want they like, always want somebody to encourage me and push me sometimes you know just simple wording like that is like yeah he right I gotta do it and I this this road to YouTube this road to get get 1k or 2k subs it, it's a long road it's a lot of work and sometimes uh certain stuff just don't happen overnight what i love of overnight success oh yeah 100 percent those of you that know me i am a man of, i'm a man of god i believe in god i believe in faith i believe in the bible i believe in heaven and hell so on and so forth but, oh no he just like court you doing like court can't you doing he just put a script while i say some scriptures and stuff Yes, the Corey Kitchen is one of my favorite YouTubers, one of the top villain favorite YouTubers that I love to this day. And yes, he does put scriptures on it on his outro of his videos. And I, so, before you think like that, no, this is something I never done before. And I want to just tell y'all, like when I read this, when I when I read these scriptures, excuse me, is uh it really stood out to me. So it's like First Samuel chapter thirteen, verse six to fourteen, and pretty much it talks about uh, Saul. I'm summar- summarizing it up just a little bit because I really don't want to take too much of your guys' time. And uh, so pretty much, it's like talking about how Saul wasn't patient. He didn't wait. Uh, he let, in a sense, he, he rushed to a decision instead of waiting for uh, for waiting for Samuel. From, yeah, waiting for Samuel. And then once Samuel came, he pretty much told him, like, you know, you didn't keep the faith. Again, paraphrasing here. You didn't keep the faith. You, um, it's like, you know, you, it's like, by you not keeping the faith, by you rushing to a decision, you know, I got somebody that's going to take your spot and make your kingdom greater than what it, what it, what it used to be. And I, again, I'm going to put it, I'm going to I probably put it on the screen or I'll probably put it on the screen. Or I might do both. So you guys can just, just read it. Just take the time to read it. And, uh, and, and they do got some translated, uh, Bible that the way you can read it for you. You know, you can read it and that way it can be better understanding to you. But reading it, and I read it like 
six to seven times because I really wanted to get an understanding. And yes, I pray to God for understanding too. So what you gonna say about that? Yeah. And this what this I'm talking about the encouraging part right here. Saul didn't have the patience to wait. To wait. And this is what this is. Look at Corey Kenshin. Look at Mark Empire. Look at Jack Seth the guy. Look at look at like uh, some call me John, just super gaming brothers. Look at them. All of them have humble beginnings. And all of them have probably had probably the same I don't know, same doubts. But the same I feel I feel like they did, but then they push through, they move forward, so on and so forth. Now I feel like and I'm talking I'm really talking to y'all here and hear me out. Because it's go for me too. The moment you give up or whatever you're doing, somebody is going to take that spot and not just do what you did, but do it greater than you. And that's one thing I got from reading this, this scripture from the Bible. Because what stood out to me is like, man, if I gave, if I, what if I gave up? What if? I gave up and God only knows what would have happened. What would happen? Somebody would do what I did and do better. And 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 I and I see I see that more so as a encouragement to me because I know I can do it. One again, I, I keep bringing up his name, and I love Matt to this day. Matt is really not just Matt, but James, but Matt, we talking about you right now. But Matt's really got my heart, man. Real talk, because he's really besides my parents, besides those who are close to me, Matt is really my biggest supporter, and I love him. To, love him not to death, but I love him to life. I probably hear Matt right now tell me, "Hey, let's just take a break and just do video. Let's just do streams just for fun." And Matt is right. And when I do it for fun, people still watch it for fun. And yeah, I do want to turn this thing. I, I do want to make Random Man Entertainment something big, bigger than usual, bigger and better. But it's like I hear Matt tell me to just true, relax, calm down. You're gonna get there. Let's just play video games and have fun for a while. And he's right, 110% right. Because God only knows, man. Because this thing can and will take a toll on you. Just to hear y'all. And Matt said this in the live stream clip when he did Gears. And uh, I, uh, I may put a clip on it. I don't know. I'm almost going to do it or not. But Matt, again, I, I can't. Matt's, you, Matt's always tell me, like, I'm, I'm like, he and James Ray and Sunshine that always put a smile on their face. All I have to say is thank you for encouraging me. You're like my ray of sunshine. In the sense that it's like, hey, true, stop saying stop saying that by yourself. <laughs> get your butt together. Come on. <laughs> Let's get it. And uh Vic, you know, I know I love you too, man, for real. And uh I wanna say one more thing and we're gonna we're gonna wrap this video up real soon. Cause uh this really hit me hit hit a nerve for me in a good way. Okay, so those you know, I'm I have started doing my Gears of War 4 let's play. Um, no, they're coming up, they're coming up Stanley. So I want to read this person, Mike Mustache 007. Great upload, dude. One of the best scenes in the whole game. Great stuff. I just subscribed. Re I just subscribed recently. Started uploading Gears of War content. Check it out when you can. Thanks. And Mike and I will check it out. And the reason I read that, not just, how can I say it? It's not just because um, he, he he gave me a nice comment. It was it's, it's like, people don't understand for me, for me, when I had these certain doubts, literally God, how I, like, people may not think that, but this is me, we're talking about me here. I always feel like God puts people in my life or, or make something happen where it, it encouraged me so much. Like I, I, I 100% thank God for putting Matt and James in my life. One of the most coolest people who I ever met. And I enjoy gaming with them. They, they're, one of my, they, they're one of my top people I love to play games with. 
don't like no like hey hey well, what about no they, no we're talking about them right now okay we're talking about them we're talking about them I loved I love these dudes these dudes in my heart I love these guys so much but um God know how to put something make something happen when you least expect it and I want to that's why and that's why I want to say God know how to put th- make things happen for you least expect things you think and you think it's not going to happen and by Matt's encouragement by reading that comment by Mike Mustaz 007 and Mike I will thank you for subscribing if you're watching this video I will check out your channel now and I'll check out the channel I will subscribe to your channel because you're helping me out I want to do the same thing I want to help you out and you never know man you just never know but man I thank you guys so much so you're going to see on the screen called hashtag me Corey as Kenshin um, again, tell hey, y'all tell Corey about me. Man, you know what? I know I ain't do this in a while, but um, I will meet and work with Corey's kitchen. I think I said it. I'm gonna say it on Twitter. I'm gonna say it on Facebook. Too. All right, I don't ramble long enough. About this, like we had 13 minutes, almost like 13 minutes. I'm with this video. So, <laughs> thank you guys. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I mean it so much. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for encouraging me. I hope this video encouraged y'all. You know, because we're not alone dealing with this. Stay safe, wear a mask, practice social distancing. And I will see you guys on Monday when this video come out. Make sure you watch my live stream for Gears of War 3. We're doing horror mode. And yeah, that's it. <laughs>